Welcome to my today's classroom. Today I will be discussing about pill induced injury to esophagus. Pill induced injury to esophagus means injury to esophagus which is caused by tablet. After ingestion of tablet, if that tablet injures esophagus, then this is known as pill induced injury. Now in pill induced injury, this there are certain risk factors which lead to pill induced injury. There are certain conditions in which pill induced injury is more. Pill induced injury to esophagus occurs when we consume, we take the tablet with less amount of water. At least 120 ml water is required to swallow the pill. Even after taking this pill with 120 ml of water, sometimes it may remain in esophagus for about 10 minutes. So whenever you take a pill, take it with plenty of water, at least 120 ml of water. If it is taken with less amount of water, there are chances of sticking of pill, that tablet in the esophagus where it may produce injury. Apart from this, if the tablet is taken together with after taking alcohol then also incidence of injury is more because alcohol decreases motility of esophagus it decreases primary and secondary contractions peristaltic contractions of esophagus so in alcoholics chances of pill induced injury are more because in alcoholics the motility of esophagus is usually decreased so it is again another risk factor of pill induced injury apart from this in many cases there are stricture formation of strictures as a result of prolonged gastroesophageal reflux disease as a result of radiotherapy in cancer patients as a result of instrument induced injury in esophagus as a result of thoracotomy after thoracotomy sometimes strictures develop after sclerotherapy of varices strictures may develop so these strictures may lead to pill induced injury the tablet may stick at the level of stricture so stricture is another factor of pill induced injury another factors which are responsible for pill induced injury are normal rings which are present in esophagus a ring and b ring these are the two rings which are normally present in the esophagus in many cases sometimes the pill pills may get lodged at this at the level of ring a ring is mucosal ring is a muscular ring and b is mucosal ring both these rings are present at the lower end of esophagus so these rings may sometimes produce pill induced injury the tablet may lodge into that area of esophagus and may cause pill induced injury so these patients of pill induced injury whenever they come to a physician one should always inquire about about the alcoholism whether the patient is alcoholic or non-alcoholic whether he is consuming the pill with good amount of of water or not and after taking the pill whether he goes to bed immediately then also many times pills may induce injury so these are the various risk factors for pill induced injury apart from this many a times in cardiac patients suppose if there is a case of mitral stenosis in which left atria is enlarged this left atria many times it compresses esophagus from behind and in this particular area where left atria is present near the esophagus in that area sometimes pill may get lost so one should uh, look to this particular risk factor also whether there is any evidence of left atrial enlargement many a times at the level of aortic arch where aortic arch crosses the esophagus sometimes there is indentation in that region and pill may get lost in that area and may cause pill induced injury many many a times in cases of degenerative disorders of cervical 
vertebra many a times from there the cervical vertebra may compress esophagus from behind and pill may get lodged into the upper part of esophagus and may produce pill induced injury so these are the various risk factor one by one again i will repeat one is the less amount of fluid less amount of water taken at the time of ingestion of pill and patient immediately goes to spin position in the lying down position then patient may develop pill induced esophagitis if there is a stricture then patient again can develop pill induced esophagitis even if there is a carcinoma or small tumor inside the esophagus that may also produce pill induced injury that may be a site for obstruction and may produce pill induced injury at that site similarly a rings and b rings are the risk factors for esophageal pill induced injury if patient is alcoholic then again because of decreased mortality of esophagus patient may develop pill induced injury in chronic gastroesophageal reflux disease sometimes it may lead to pill induced injury and pill may go back in esophagus from stomach so these are the various factors which are uh, which are which which if present may cause pill induced injury apart from this if tablet if tablet is having that gelatin covering sometimes that gelatin also sticks to the mucosa of esophagus and may produce injury in that region so these are the uh, different uh, factors which may produce pill induced injury and these patients of pill induced injury may be a male he may be a female female male or female both and from the age of 6 year to 90 years the patient may develop this type of injury any age is not no age is exempted from this injury no sex is in, is exempted from this injury so these are the various causes of pill induced injury this is the genesis of pre pill induced injury now a patient of pill induced injury if he comes to the physician he will come with severe chest pain severe focal chest pain and he will complain of odynophagia odynophagia means painful deglutition painful deglutition is such, many times it is so much severe during the act of deglutition pain is so much severe that patient cannot cannot take food orally even if he takes liquids or even if he takes water then also he may he may develop a severe type of chest pain so these patients they present with severe chest pain and odynophagia many times these patients may present with hematemesis because of erosion at the level of pill induced injury pill induced injury is very easily diagnosed when you ask patient he will tell that this pain is started immediately after taking tablet so you will have to inquire about various risk factors like alcohol you will have to inquire about symptoms related to gastroesophageal reflux disease you will and he will have to inquire about past history of any dysphagia to rule out stricture to rule out airing and bearing so like that you will proceed in clinical diagnosis clinical diagnosis of this pill induced injury now when you investigate these patients the diagnostic investigation of pill induced injury is upper gi endoscopy you have to directly visualize esophagus through endoscope and in the region of pill induced injury you can get erosions or you can get an ulcer a clear cut ulcer with pill lying in that ulcer and surrounding area is almost normal sometimes it may be inflamed sometimes you can demonstrate bleeding in that ulcer so with the help of upper gi endoscope you can diagnose the pill induced injury the cases of pill in the cases of pill induced injury during endoscopy always rule out a ring and b ring if there is any stricture always rule out that stricture rule out whether it is malignant or it is benign with the help of endoscope you can do therapeutic procedure to relieve this obstruction which is present suppose if there is a stricture you can dilate that stricture with the help of dilator if a ring and b rings which usually do not produce dysphagia they do not produce obstruction but if there is they are producing obstruction then with the help of dilators you can dilate that particular area 
So like this, you can diagnose the site of obstruction. The, you can clear cut diagnose that it is a the, diagnose the pill induced injury area. But in order to rule out any other pathology, always take, take a biopsy and a, do histopathological studies. Now, these cases of pill induced injury, they remain symptomatic for about three to four days and then gradually the symptoms will wane off. To treat these patients, you will have to give local antacids with local anesthetics so that that particular area is anesthetized and patient will be able to do deglutition properly. So give local type of anesthetic agents, give proton pump inhibitors to decrease the acid which is generated in the stomach because less the acid will regurgitate back, back, less will be the symptoms. So give proton pump inhibitors and together with the proton pump inhibitors, always give prokinetic agents because if a component of gastroesophageal reflux disease is present, then that can be controlled. So usually these patients heal by eight to 10 days and that particular erosion or uh, ulcer which is present, it will heal within eight to 10 days. So to prevent the pill induced injury to esophagus, always advise patient to take tablet with a glass full of water and avoid lying down after take, taking tablet for at least half an hour to prevent this pill induced injury. If patient is alcoholic, you ask patient not to take alcohol, avoid alcohol and if he is taking alcohol, even he is not listening to abstain for alcohol, then you advise him not to take alcohol with tablet. So like this, you will treat and you will advise patient for the prevention of pill induced injury to esophagus. Thank you.